the Attorney General. He says that the main underlying issue in this court is the petitioner has committed an offense and cannot be determined in the Constitution. He's telling you that an offense has been committed, only that we are in the wrong forum. Is that speculative? This is information from the Attorney General. Now, number three, that the suit has been filed by the petitioner to evade investigation and probable prosecution. Is that speculation? It's, it's not coming from us. It's coming from them. Number twelve. Again, the Attorney General, that the petitioner has filed this suit since is apprehensive on an offense he may have committed. Again, that is not coming from us. They have come to the conclusion, the grounds of opposition, the preliminary objection, the totality, if you read it, of in their documents that they have filed, is appointed to the direction where they are moving. As to what Manana Premis and Titi uh, was trying to add before the auction in relation to uh, this case issue about sleep, sheet, and all of Now, Manana, again, their own document. In the affidavit of Mr. Gituari, the annexure marked J3. A letter by the National Police Service, Director of Criminal Investigation, page uh, on, on written on the 25th January 2017, Mr. Samuel Nyabengi. This is the man who recorded statements from the government. In January 2015, he says in this letter, kindly provide us with certified copies of the case EAC results printout from the state school for the years 92-93 KSC results slips and certificate of the holders of the above quoted index numbers. Also authenticate the attached copy of KSC results slip for index number uh, 160092 of link 204 in the name of Asa Job. 92 and 93. And it's not just about slips, it's about the results printer. So it was an all-encompassing investigation and had a bearing of what was investigated in the year 2013, the abuse that we are dealing with. Mr. Ibuni has taken you through authorities to make a distinction. But as we are taught in every book school, each case must be looked at in its own special circumstances. We were not brought a case before you that they are civil in a civil case. We are not uh, brought a case to you that uh, you know uh, a promise was given, was given not to invade to prosecute. What we have brought before you is that there is abuse and violation of constitutional rights. And if you look at the Kangwana case, he kept on the judge, how he kept on saying, I'm looking for this thing called abuse. Those are the words he's using. Don't address me on anything. What I'm looking for is a 